Hello YouTube, this is Snappy Grandpappy teaching you how to make a real looking professional script using a free download Celtex. C E L T X. You type in C E L Celtex dot com and you will you'll get uh it's one of the first results. It's a free download and it works just as good as any professional script writing software. Um it brings you to a diff a screen that look that um shows you a different type of strict scripts the top one will be film you click on it and the first thing you do is decide whether you, the is decide the scene heading once you do that I'm just gonna say scene one once you do that you go to shot and you go to shot and you go to shot one then you go to action. Once you go to action, you describe you describe the um, describe the situation, what it's like. Um, the main character is standing alone. This is just an example. Once you do that, you go to character. Oh, sorry. go to the next line and you click character name the character I'm just gonna name him Austin colon once you do that it automatically goes to dialogue and once you do this you say words and I'm just gonna you type in his lines where is every buddy then you go and it uh, uh, it shows you another character. Once you do this, you can go parenthetical, and it shows it tells you this like what he's acting like. Um, he looks around. He looks around the room. And once you do that, it kind of it it, you're, it shows you it describes what he's doing as he's saying it. And then you can go to another character, or you can go to more action. Main character two steps in. Then you go to character again, and say Steve. Say his lines. Hello, Austin. And then at that time, you at that time you've got a pretty decent script. Like you've got a script going. Then you go to uh, you go next line. You go to uh, transition and you type in fade out. That way you know that way you can tell when the scene's ending and it tells the person with it tells the editor well how to do what it tells the it tells the editor and the script people to make sure they know when to end the scene and move to a different location and once you do that you go next line over with the scene heading scene two. And shows action. Sorry. And go shot two. And then goes action. And then it shows Steve exits a car with a bag well, and I, right now you've got a pretty decent script and you've got you've you got the script going now you want to check it like formats the script and then it sh once you type you go down to the bottom where it says where it has all these little options and you go to typeset PDF and it shows you your title 
title page and then it shows you the pages of your script. Um, as you do that you can go to scratch pad and that's where you type in notes at the bottom. So you type in notes at the bottom for future so you don't forget your so you don't lose your train of thought. Like you put little bullet points and that way next time it'll remind you. And then you go to index cards and it shows you like what kind of shot like like possible plots like the first plot uh, mass murder. And then you describe it. Steve kills everyone and tries to escape. And, this, and then this one's for if you want um, if you want to try um, a different one, like a different area, like a different way to go. Um, Steve stops Austin from killing everyone. Man, basically it's self-explanatory. And that's basically what that is. And then title page, you get to describe, you, like, title uh, screen is um, my movie by Snappy Grandpappy based on my thoughts. And then it does, is, this is your con your copyright, and this is the contact information, so that way people can get a hold of you. And then reports. This is just um. This is just basically all your scenes, all your dialogues, all your care. I mean your characters, and that's basically all you have to do. And then once you do this, you go up and save project. Untitled or however you want to save it, and then. There's basically there's open project, and I'm just gonna open one one of my short films, so to show you what it looks like when it's all said and done. Well, that's loading. Sorry about that, my computer's kind of slowing down. Here's what my here's a, a short film to that look that I'm working on. It's called Simple Business. Um, basically, there's this there's the sh there's the shot at the top. I mean, there's the um, transition at the top. There's the scene. There's the action dialogue. Um, there's more action. There's dialogue, and then there's scene two. And it should have all of these, or else. Like, if you ever want to send in a script to a person who makes movies, they're not usually going to look at it. They're not usually going to really look at it unless it has a proper format. And this this is an example of the proper format. And Celtex makes it really easy. There's a lot of action there. That's a fight scene, by the way. Um, but it does take a lot of it does take a lot of planning, and um, 
you have to be very careful with how you write scripts because if you want to make if you want to make a good script you have to make sure that you plan everything out because if you just write out something's going to something's going to need to lead somewhere and you're just going to leave them they're just going to have a cliffhanger and you're going to need to fix that up and make it so that there is no cliffhangers and that gets explained um but this has been an episode this has been a how to video on how to make a professional script I'm Snappy Grandpappy, and I'll see you later.